This video is a love letter. It's not a love letter to a person, it's a love letter to a Mac app. The app is called CleanShot and it's completely reimagined something I never even knew needed to be reimagined, screen recording. Like literally recording video of the screen on my Mac, like this. And I've tried so many screen recorders, but nothing has worked as well as CleanShot. I use it constantly, at least five to 10 times in a typical workday. And here's how it works. CleanShot tucks away in the menu bar up here. You can open it anytime, or you can open it like I do with a keyboard shortcut. CleanShot can do screen recordings or screenshots. First, I'll explain screenshots. We can take the screenshot and it will pop in the bottom left of our screen. From there, we can copy, save, or drag the screenshot anywhere. Simple, right? Yeah, but capturing a screenshot is really just the start because CleanShot includes a bunch of editing tools too. Let me show you. So let's take another screenshot. This time we'll hit edit and in pops the editor. We can add a background. We can add shapes or an arrow and text. We can pixelate things to obscure them for privacy. We can add a spotlight. Mark the image up with numbers. Draw, of course. And use a favorite of mine, Highlighter, which automatically snaps the text. It's very neat. One of the most handy features is this upload button. It automatically creates a shareable link with the screenshot. Very cool. You can also take screenshots on a timer or take scrolling screenshots to capture an entire page. And of course you can also take screen recordings. Hey, so this is a screen recording. I can add video of myself. What's up? And capture clicks and keystrokes too. And there's even an OCR option, which lets you click QR codes or copy text from an image. It's kind of wild. Hopefully what I'm showing is that, yes, this is a screen capture tool, but what makes it useful is all these handy little options and features. Because once I started using CleanShot, I found all kinds of different uses for it. For example, I'll often clip inspiration. Like if I see a YouTube thumbnail that I like and wanna save it for later. Or I'm the co-founder of a software company called Atlas. So I deal with a lot of customer support and I found it really useful to send customers short videos to answer their questions. Hey, so just thought I'd answer in the form of a quick video. Uh, so there is a way to do this. We also have clean shot videos in the Atlas support docs. Search for a location with the search bar to add a marker. I honestly don't know why more software companies don't do this. Writing out the steps to do something in software is tedious. It's just way faster to show somebody. I also use CleanShot as a loom replacement. Meaning, I'll share short videos with colleagues to provide feedback or just give them updates. CleanShot even has a GIF capture mode. So occasionally, I'll create my own GIFs to send to people. And of course, I use CleanShot for YouTube videos like this too. Though, you might be wondering, how is he recording this video? Can CleanShot record itself? No, I'm actually using a second screen capture tool to record this. The second tool is called Screen Studio and I actually only use it for YouTube videos. Why do I use it for YouTube? Because they have these cool zooms. Whew, that just, that looks nice, right? In any case, you can find a link to CleanShot and also Screen Studio in the video description below. They are affiliate links because neither of these tools are free. They cost money. But I found both to be super worth it and for me personally. I use them all the time. In any case, hopefully this tips you off to some interesting tools. Thanks for watching.